Hello, everybody. Welcome to Return of the Oberdin. Uh, Return of Oberdin is a... I, wanna, I don't want to necessarily say murder mystery, but it is a mystery game featuring a old ship which, to quote the Steam store page, In 1802, the merchant ship Oberdin sent out from London for the Orient with over 200 tons of trade goods. Six months later, it had met its rendezvous point at the Cape of Good Hope and was to... Oh, had it met. Wow. Good job on my part. I guess it wouldn't be lost. Uh, <laughs> Six months later, I had rabbit news at the Cape, Cape of Good Hope and was declared lost at sea. Early this morning on, of October 14th, 1807, the Overton drifted into port at Falmouth with damaged sails and no visible crew. As insurance investigator for the East India Company London office, dispatch immediately to Falmouth, finds means to board the ship and prepare an assessment of damages. Wow, I forgot how loud this music was. It's fine too, because you start up the game and there's actually no soundtrack, it's just kind of this quiet melody. Not even a melody, it's just quiet. I actually kind of prefer it. Unfortunately, the options menu is very lacking, although I do find this hilarious. Like, all these different... wait, the different little uh, ways you can mess with it. I'm sorry if that was giving someone a headache, it was giving me one earlier, admittedly. But, uh, let's begin! Built 1796, London, 800 tons, 18 feet draft. Captain R. Witterell, crew 51 men, last voyage to Orient, Cape Rendezvous unmet. Contact East India, Sci London office for inquiries, inquiries or testimony. Wait, it's just a, oh, there we go, I hit his face. Uh, the Honorable East India Company. Attention, Chief Inspector, Insurance and Claims, London Office. The Norbertine has returned. Dispatched to Falmouth immediately in prayer for full assessment. Falmouth, England, 1807. Company man woke me up. Said you'd need ferry to the Oberdin. Not many eager for that job. Seems a bit late, if you ask. I didn't. Huh. What's in the box? I don't know. I'll hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. How? That... Oh, yeah. One thing I really like is the stylization. Okay, what am I... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna jump in the water. Ooh, this is gonna take a little bit of getting used to. What is... oh. I'm hoping the controls will get told to me soon enough. I'm assuming it, it looks like it's just w regular point and click adventure. Are you gonna hand it to me? I didn't mean to walk down! Can I, can I take my box? My luggage? Suitcase? Whatever? So stylization is definitely really good. I really like this. How is he supposed to hand this up to me? I would very much appreciate knowing how. Or are we supposed to kind of just walk around for right now? Very curious how this they plan to make this out to be as long as it is. What is that? Because this seems like a relatively small ship. I'm very confused on what I'm supposed to be doing here. Or, well, I guess it wouldn't be a fire axe. Oi! It's too heavy! Well, 
gonna give it to me. Just do it. <laughs> Take it yourself or open it even. What? What am I doing? Oh, okay. I'm gonna assume this is a journal. Wait, my D button is how to. Oh, oh, that's how... I was just me opening the book. Okay. Uh, Return to Oberdim, a catalog of adventure and tragedy, 1807. Preface. I trust you now find yourself aboard the Oberdim. I expected this day to come, and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Regrettably, failed health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your, pres your presence on the Oberdim is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but have elected to keep them private for now. Henry Evans. The journal, the ship, the crew... Well, if it's C, sketch, glossary, back cover, and then we have our chapters, loose cargo, bitter cold, murder, the calling, unholy captain, soldiers of the sea, the doom, bargain, escape, the end. Uh, the journey. Oh god, I love maps, but... Uh, the ship. The crew, I'm not, I cannot read that crew. Okay, you might have went a little too hard on the pixels, because I can barely read those names. Not even all of them. I can think I can see Paul Moss, Roderick Anderson, Davy... I want to say Davy James? Yeah, I can barely read that. Uh, now we have Sketches of Life. Who's Cargo? On the Cargo deck. And this is all just... Oh my god, how many pages are there? And then tab, okay. I'm assuming tab will open the it again. Memento mortem. Oh my goodness. Remember death, yep. You know, as soon as I just recently watched something with that. Or, not really recently, it's been... Two or eight, three weeks? Do you want to say anything, buddy? Yeah, okay, book called it. Okay, so my hand, when it looks like my hand reaches out, that means I can interact with something, and that's my left click. I'm not really a, not really a good start, because I, or, well, in a game, like I said, game looks great, but I always have problems when games do not show a tutorial for the controls, no matter how simplistic they may be. Okay, so... Oh, oh. Captain! Open the door! Kick it in. Ah! Uh, lest we break it down and take more than those shells! You bastards may take exactly what I give you! Ooh! Mutiny. Well, obviously he was killed with by a bullet. What? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. What am I? Oh, so they're both soldiers. Actually, I should probably have been noticed that from his garbs. There's a guy over here, though. Uh, Silization makes it hard to view. Uh, it looks like he was a military man, too. It looks like they were all in the military. It looks like they were all holding rifles or in some picture. What? What? 
Oh, is this a thing where we go back? We go backwards? face appears blurred throughout the book. Oh, this is going to be weird. Swearing indicates that you don't have, that you don't yet have sufficient information to determine identity. Their fate may be known and can be entered now. Trying to name them while their face is blurred would be unproductive. Carry on and pay attention. Faces will become unblurred when the information necessary to identify them has been revealed in some way. Okay, nope. Shoot. Uh, ooh, okay. How do I... There we go. Uh, expired would not be in entirely incorrect. Shot. Gun. Well, we know it was the captain. Oh. Uh, memories where this person appears can be navigated from here. Uh, soul appears in memory, first memory, perished in the end, part one. Ooh. Oh, duh, that's what the, okay, yeah, so we are starting from the, the, the very end. Uh, bookmark all memories where they appear for quicker navigation. Oh, darn it. Use the buttons at the top of the page, edit bookmarks, and navigate between them. Wait, but how do I... Captain, open the door, kick it in, let's see what she has, give you. Three others were present. Is that the captain? Well, this. Wait a minute. Yeah, we already know he shot the gun. Ooh, this is gonna be rough. Oh, that scared me because I was on my right. Oh yeah, you're not the one who got shot. I was looking at you. Wait, what? Yeah, you're the one who shot the gun. But you're not. You're not the. This is the captain. Wait. Hold up. Yeah, this is the guy who shot the gun, so we actually don't know who shoots the gun. You're the one. No. What? Yeah, you're the one who fires the gun, and the game seems to imply that that's not. that this person here is not. Oh. Oh, oh, never mind. Okay, I'm dumb. Ignore me. It's saying what the type of death was for that person. Oh boy. Well, we're about to find a captain. Ooh, there's multiple people. Hold up. No one dead outside. Okay, so I'm not gonna be able to say what like parts of the ship are. I'm not even remotely good at that kind of stuff. So if you expect me to be like, oh yeah, off the main sail or something like that, I will not be able to do that. Nope. Where are they? Must be in here someplace. <laughs> They're right. The bottom of the sea. That's a lie. What the hell? You're already dead. Oof. Ooh. Ooh. You got stabbed. Are you the same guy? You are. That's the captain fighting. Oh, I see. Wait, what? Oh, so okay, so they were fighting. And it looks like Captain's probably about to get a... Uh... Wow, I just spit all over my monitor. Okay. Comes right there. Uh, 
I was about to say, it takes a little bit too long for this bit here to give us all the information. So it looks like uh, our other friend came in after the bullet was fired to try to figure out what was happening. Whatever information is, since we're starting at the literal end. We still don't know how they died, or we don't know who this is, but we can say they were. The fact that decapitated is an option is a bit terrifying. Uh, knifed by the captain. Oh, that's just that. Uh, two others are present, which is the captain. I'm... Oh. This person's face is no longer blurry, which means they can now be identified. Use a book in a pocket watch to gather enough information to deduce their identity. Revisit memories on the ship using a pocket watch to study relationships, appearances, and activities. Use the book map the book maps, crew manifests, and artist sketches, pages 2 and 4, 2 through 4, along with the individual conversation logs to find clues about unknown. There were 60 people on the ship when it left England. 60 people? This is that big of a ship? Determining everyone's identity and fate will not be easy. I don't expect it to be. Decisive, decisive information is rare. You'll have to make assumptions using partial information. Some identities may only be revealed through a process of elimination. Yeah, I'm expecting that. Good luck! <laughs> we don't probably need it. Well, this one's obvious. This is the captain. Oh, we straight up. It's not gonna tell us? Okay. Oh boy. This isn't a good start. Also, the fact that it's starting us at the very end is gonna be interesting. Also, I'm gonna be honest, I like the stylization, but it immediately does hurt my eyes if I stare too long. So I might not be able to record as many sessions as I would care to. Care to. It's good, don't get me wrong, this looks really good. But it, what, like staring at this white area for too long, it, it does hurt my eyes a little bit. Still looks great though. Yeah, he was able to run at him. Wait, what? What? Wait, what? You're still dead. Who? Wait, that's the cat. Who are you? Oh, well, you were just straight up clubbed. Hold up. Hold up. I need to revisit a memory. How do I revisit a memory? I have to go back to this body, don't I? I want to see if this guy is, like, hiding in the background. Come on, game. You don't have to show me it every... Ugh. Alright, first complaint. Alright, I kind of made a first complaint, I guess, didn't I? This takes too long. This takes a little too long. Just do the fade out, please. <laughs> I like getting the information or being able to... Oh, God. that would, that would That's bad for my eyes. Nope. Thank you. I have no idea who this is either. Do we, the, how they died is obvious. Club by the captain. Damn, the captain went on a ham. He is in three memories. I knew it. Wait, other way sketch. Former royalty. Ooh. Justice at sea. Oh, boy. Oh! Okay. I didn't even notice this. This is definitely going to be interesting. Oh, okay, yeah. I want to go back on memory. Cause I want to see if he is, like... Because he came from behind. So I want to see if he's in one of the previous memories. Wait, what? Where are they? Oh. 
must be right. near someplace. Hello. There I sit. The bottom of the sea. That's a lie. Wait a minute, I'm curious. Where did you come from now? Alright, I need... Oh, I really wish there was a quicker way to go to certain parts. Is there a run at all? Alright, I, right, I want to go back to the first one we saw now. I want to confirm if he's actually coming up. He is not. Ah, unless we break it down and take more than those shells. You bastards, mate. Oh, here he is. So he was coming up this whole time. So they were planning to ambush him this whole time. He doesn't look like he's a soldier, though, going from the... Yeah, because these are... I can actually wait. Oh, I wish I could. How do I go to the crew? Yeah, it doesn't actually give us like. Immediately, I was kind of hoping there would be like more of a soldier thing, but it looks like he's not in the soldier, and he looks like he was crew. Oh, thank you. You can zoom in on those. Oop, didn't mean to. Oh, oh boy. This will be interesting. Austria, France, mostly England, Ireland, Austria, Poland, Italy, Wales, Sweden, Ireland, Ukraine. New Guinea, that's interesting. Uh, Sierra Leona, Sierra, Sierra Leona, my bad. Interesting. Okay. Nope, oh, get out, get out. Alright. But I guess it, it kind of makes sense that we are already looking at events after everything has already occurred, so we're going to have to go backwards. Now, is there anyone out here, body-wise? Because it does not look like it. Alright, so I guess from the first three death. Wait a minute, that means the captain didn't die in here. Right? Oh, never mind. Oh! Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Abigail, your brother, my friend, I shot him dead. Oh. I'll be with you soon, my love. Please forgive me. For everything. This is the captain, isn't it? Yeah. Here. Well, this, I believe, is probably Abigail. I'm willing to bet. Do we... I, so I guess... I guess I can make an assumption that this is probably her brother. And I'm assuming that's Abigail. That's just, I still don't like how long this is. I'm wondering though if that is Abigail, but I'm gonna win to bed if we look at her, whoever this is, death. That that's what will be the case. It was a commit suicide, I believe, right? Suicide. Gone. This may or may not be correct. What? Fates are validated in sets of three. Quickly identify at least three people and their fates. 
to have the in information typeset into the book. Wait, this isn't correct? How? Oh, so we're not going to find out if this is 100% correct unless I get three more people. That's not true. There is a dead body there. Right? Isn't that not a gun? Eh. I'm hoping that that's what I mean. It's just like I can't, st I cannot stare into my screen when I'm going through the door. It I'm hoping it's not that bad for the rest of you watching, but it really is bad for me. It honestly hurts to look at. What? Let me go through the dossier, because I want to... The crew... Let's look at... Let's see if we can find Abigail on here. This is all last name first, or is first name first? No, it looks like it's first name first. But I saw that, and I was just, you know... I do not. Wait a minute. I did. I did. I already forget the name because that's gonna be a big problem. Yeah. Okay. So there's someone here is named Abigail, but is not actually named Abigail? Question mark. Unless I completely missed it, which is entirely possible. Nope, there it is. Okay, oh shoot. Uh, Abigail Hoscott Witterall from Scotland. So I have to look for. No, because that also could be a maiden. That could. That might not be her maiden name. I could look just in case. Or we could look for someone who's from Scotland, which could be Duncan McKay, for all we know. Is there any way for me to leave notes? Although, I'm gonna say they were, a, they were a soldier going off of them, so we can make two assumptions. We can make that they are, I don't know terms. Like, I have no idea what a top man is, which might be worthwhile for me to look up some of this stuff since I don't actually know what what half of this is. I don't know what a bo bosun? Bosun's mate? I don't know what that is. Like, wait, I'm assuming gunner just means the guy who mans the cannons, but that also is probably wrong. I don't know what a purser is. Uh, yeah, I might need to look up what some of these terms are and probably write them down. Maybe I'll do it in my game journal, which I haven't used in a while. I have no idea what a top man is, or if seaman just means just, you know, basic, just guy who's living a life on the sea. But that's that's something I'll do after this part. But uh, let's, do the, let's do who I'm assuming is Abigail. doing this? What?